So, um, until we can get, like, larger... Well, I guess, until we can get more stable mining systems, such as, um... Let's see, what else do I need? One of the issues is with large drill machines, they have trouble because, um... They cause a lot of lag, just because of all the, I guess you could say, collision calculations that happen with every little piece of ore that gets mined. And I still need 30 more construction components. Okay. I don't really need to do that, so, but it'll empty out some of my weight anyway. Okay. I was trying to get this done before uh, to get everything connected. I was digging through there, which is why that great big area is is already mined out. And uh, I couldn't find where I was trying to connect to, so I ended up having to do it another way. Is there something in the way? Yes, floating magnesium. There we go. And then right there. Now this should be connected. So let me empty out my inventory and try to access it. And let's see, I just need... i uh, take them all. So I need to make sure that that is constructed. Otherwise it won't actually transfer power. Okay, good. Conveyor will be complete. Power should pass now through these frames. It would be a lot easier if you could just place, you know, wiring. But uh, let's go to here, find our gravity generator, which is incomplete. And let's see, how small can that be? One meter wide? Let's make it uh, 25. Now, in order to access this uh, to set these values, with the uh, numbers, you hold control and then left click. Um, this one here, I suppose I could make it. Uh, let's go like 100 meters tall so that it actually goes up quite a ways. Uh, the depth, uh, let's make that 25 as well. Um, I guess I must have. Now, I told it 25, but it's showing 24. That's weird. Okay, and then I only want it to be about a point two five. Because if I make it any more than that, it's gonna add in with everything else, and it's gonna make this area like um, well, right now anything that overlaps with what's over there is gonna be a point seven five. I do not like working in um, anything above half gravity, just because when you do. Um, you have less time to fall down and such. Now, did I not put those in? Oh, I still need more construction components. I used them all for the conveyor. Okay. Come on, get over there. There. So, as you can see there, I just turned off my jetpack so that uh, I could let gravity do what needed to be done. And then I'll be able to jump over here and actually fall all the way down before my jetpack kicks on. And you can see there I took like 60% damage. Um, and I think that's because... Part of it's because of how far I fell and how fast I ended up falling. Um, but if you've got like ledges you can kind of bump into on the way down, then you'll be fine. So let's go and get this built. And then everything should start to fall down. And gravity right here is a 0.3. So let's see how far. So it, it's just rounding it up because I put it at a 0.25. Yes, definitely. Base jumping. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So when I get over to here, it's going to go to a 0.8 for just a very, very small area. So that's fine. 
I don't care that there, you know, there's a, a three meter wide section that's a point eight. That's fine. So now I can go around and I get all this picked up, and then when I mine this area, oh, it needs to move out a little bit further apparently. But at least if I mine right in here, everything will drop down. So all I really need to do is I'm going to turn that on to a further area. So let's go gravity generator. Is it this one? Um, so that should be like three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this all the way up. And did that make everything fall? Things are starting to fall down, which is exactly what I wanted them to do. So, okay, for some reason there's no gravity here, so that's really weird. Why does it go all the way over to here? So let's go back into here. Gravity generator three, and we're going to set the field depth to maximum. And boom, everything's going to fall down. From there, I shouldn't take any damage because it wasn't very far. So now that everything is down, I'll just pick it up. I hate wasting resources, and right now, even one piece of magnesium slipping through my fingers is too much. Ah, get back here. That, and I hate the, uh, the, the sound of the collisions. When I'm walking around, working on my base, and I constantly hear chunk, 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 um, I've lost ships due to random pieces of scrap floating around, and it makes me very, very unhappy when that happens. Um, especially when it's a large mining ship with 49 drills. You know, I tried using one of those, and the problem with that is um, it because it pulls everything towards it, it's oh no, your English is fine um, your English is better than uh, some native speakers, um, so I'm gonna have to assume that you're not a native speaker but, uh, but that's okay um, yeah, my, uh, my wife is not a native English speaker, so no worries but uh, I did try a spherical gravity generator with some collectors, and it didn't work very well. Even using normal gravity with collectors doesn't really work all that well. Things get stuck on top of the collectors and don't actually get collected, which is kind of a real pain in the butt. So let me go ahead and toss this stuff in here, and then I can toss the rest of that in there too. So what I want to do is I want to find out how far this is going to affect this now. Because obviously it's going to extend much further back into here. And it's not really that big of a deal, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it down now because I don't need it. Uh, let's see. Um, so gravity generator three. Hello. Come on. There we go. So make that 25 again and the depth as well so that way it's just going to be a tiny tiny area that's at a point eight I can come out here everything looks good and then as I mine as long as I don't go past here which is basically this wall right here that's fine um, I need to get some of this magnesium so now that I've got gravity here, I might even start going back into this wall some, too. And then if I need to, I can always just flip, the sw flip it on and go down and collect all that stuff. So that sounds good. You put one on your drill. Ah, okay. Yeah, that would be nice. Um... One of the things that's interesting is the uh, the small drills extend past the their own uh, frame, 
whereas the large drills do not. So I wish the large drills were basically an exact duplicate. Let me turn off those lights. Because then if you uh, if the large drill extended past its own framing like the small ones do, then you could have something like a cockpit in between and collectors and lights and stuff like that. But with the large ships, you can't do that because um, they'll get smashed up because they, the drill is the same size as the, uh, the rest of the frame. I was really kind of disappointed about that because that means you have to basically mine in third-person view with a large ship. Now I want to take my welder and uh, attach it over here because I've actually got some resources that I want to put in here. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now we're just going to move it over. Sometimes it is difficult to do it in reverse. Yeah, that's pretty much the way it has to be, and it shouldn't have to be that way, in my opinion. But it does. Um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to basically make an exact copy of my small ship in large form. And I, I just I couldn't do it, unfortunately. But that's... I guess that's just kind of the way the game goes. So, good. We've got some uranium, some more magnesium going. And, good. Some iron going in there. Let's see. What else? Production. Good. We've got five missiles produced now. And, let's see. Is there anything else in my inventory I need to worry about getting out? Nope, it got it all. So, I probably ought to go and heal myself. Because if I don't, I'm going to end up doing a, another base jump and s smashing my, my head in or breaking my legs or something. And end up dying. I don't want to do that. I wish you could just sit in the, the medical room without having to hold down the, the key to use it. Um... A minor annoyance. Definitely not a game breaker. You know, I have not tried playing with the sensors either. Um, I probably need to go and watch some type of a tutorial. Um, I know that there are a lot of people who do some really neat things with them, and I've watched some of those things, but uh, I haven't tried doing it on my own yet. I haven't really gotten down into the nuts and bolts of how the sensors work. But uh, they certainly do uh, make some cool machines with them. That is for sure. Especially they've got like homing uh, ships and stuff that will either follow a target or maneuver away from it. Uh, one of my uh, I guess favorite space engineers, uh, YouTubers is, uh, his channel's name is Wasted Space. Um, I, uh, I, I like what he does. He's, he's fairly new to YouTube also. He's, uh, he's still under a thousand subscribers. He hasn't been doing very long. Uh, but he, uh, he does do some, some good quality content. So, I know that, uh, People like Last Stand Gamers, they're really popular out there, and some of their stuff is okay. Um, I think they go overboard with some of the stuff, and it's not really stuff that you can do in survival. And to me, it's it's really all about survival. If I can't do it in survival, then um, I'm not too interested in it. Um, but that's just me. I mean, concepts are cool, and I'll design stuff in... Uh, in a creative world sometimes, but 99% of what I do is all creative. Yeah, no problem.
So he actually spells it with a four, so it's like 